Hey everyone, this is Wumbo, and today we're talking about the Ignition Code Grenade Launcher. Specifically in this short video, I'll be going over the PvE God Roll for this weapon, and when I say God Roll, I mean this is the weapon you'll be using for Grandmaster Nightfalls and everything below that. But, before we get started, I'm just going to ask you politely to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and then set it to all. I do not upload a crazy bunch on YouTube, so I won't be blowing up your inbox, and if you decide later that you don't really care, you can even uncheck the bell, or just unsubscribe completely. It's up to you. Now, back to the video. So Ignition Code was released this season, Season of the Splicer, and it has proven to be an absolute beast on the field of taking high-tier dangerous enemies. You can receive this grenade launcher from just about any seasonal activity ranging from Override to Normal and Corrupted Expunge. You can also focus Umbral Engrams at the Prismatic Recaster at the helm in order to obtain this weapon, although note that focusing Umbral Engrams will take 75 decrypted data in order to do so. But anyways, let's get right into talking about the god roll for this grenade launcher. The rolls you want are Volatile Launch, Blinding Grenades, Slide Shot, and Vorpal Weapon. For the weapon mod, make sure you put on a boss spec so you can get more damage off beefy enemies. My masterwork is handling, but you can have it be whatever you prefer. This is by far the best roll I've acquired, and it slays out in just about every endgame PvE activity. I've used it for Master Nightfalls, and I'm probably never going to use any other grenade launcher when it comes to this. So get out there, farm some Umbrella Engrams, and get this weapon. It's something you will never regret. But that's all I have for you today. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. You don't have to do any of those things, but I'm asking you, so please. Alright, thanks once again. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.